This is Eric Mwade for the first week of March 2014. Let's take a look at how the markets ended on Friday. You see that the Dow was down. Ooh, actually, the Dow was up. And that goes to show you how volatile that session was on Friday. We were up about 120 points at some point. And with about one hour to go, the market was down about 50. Only to close up about 50. So it was a very volatile session. NASDAQ did pay its losses towards the close of the day. So did the S&P 500. Uh, for the day, gold was down 0.77%. And pretty much that's most of the trading. Let's take a look at any notable movers here. And we see that commodities for the most part, I would say unchanged. Natural gas was up about 2% for the day there on what was a volatile week for natural gas. If we take a look at the weekly performance, the S&P 500 is now on a breakout on the weekly chart. It also turned positive for 2014. We closed with the RSI, very close to 69.10. Don't forget that we have a new month, new week coming into play as we begin the new month of March. So we'll see what happens here. We see that ever since we got this line support on the weekly RSI, S&P 500 has had three positive weeks out of four. So that's good. Take a look at the Dow, the Dow was up about 1.3% for the week. The Dow is slightly off its highs, unlike the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. So maybe the Dow could be next to take out those highs. We'll see what happens. If we take a look at NASDAQ, it is now week number three since the breakout. The NASDAQ is obviously positive for 2014. So that breakout has now had three weeks to the upside. That is a sign of strength. Now, if we take a look at the daily, let's take a look at the daily. Now, of course, I've been saying that if the NASDAQ stays above 47.97, which was this previous weekly high, the market should remain healthy. Take note of this nice move ever since we moved back above 69.10. So it makes sense that the market is still continuing to look strong, especially since we found this bounce, this line here which was support, you know, was support here at the lows there, was support here at the lows here, and so we see that it was support there. But if we take a look at how the market closed on the daily chart, last trading day of February 2014, you see that we made a higher high here in price. We turned negative for the day with a reversal, and take note of the fact that this could be the beginning of what could be negative divergence with the RSI being close to 62 or 64 there. So this could turn out to be some kind of a trap, especially if the market continues moving lower on the daily RSI. A quick look at the NASDAQ hourly chart and you see that we were making higher highs here in price, higher highs, but we were making now lower technicals. And the fact that this is uniform activity above this line here could suggest that maybe this was a trap. And actually, as of right now, we can say it was a trap. We'll see how the market is going to respond as we begin the new month, the new week. Take note of the fact that as we came into the last hour, we had a big down movement in the market because the markets moved below 50 on the hourly. And then we managed to close back at exactly 50, which would explain this snap or quick reversal here that took place in the last hour of trading because the market was trying to recapture that 50 level on the hourly for the NASDAQ. If you take a look at the 30 minute for the NASDAQ and you see that this line here has been where the market has been finding support. Actually, let me draw that a different way. So the, what the market did is once we broke out of that range here, somewhere around there, you draw a straight line for future bounce possibility. You can see if you draw it like that. So that double blue line there is we found support here once, which was here. We found support here again, which was somewhere here. We seem to be finding support there. So if that continues being the case, 
if the market can continue pushing higher, then this is also going to be another bounce area. What we have to be careful here is if the market actually, instead of finding support here, you never know, this could turn out to be resistance and then it holds or heads lower. We'll see what happens, but for now it seems like it wants to bounce off that line. A quick look at the Dow weekly. Again, the Dow is a little bit off its breakout levels, which would be somewhere around here. So the Dow has yet to break out. Let's take a look at the Dow daily. And you can see on the Dow daily, it's pretty much been steady here. Ever since it found support here at the 50-day moving average, you know, we can say it looks healthy. Is it going to go higher? Honestly, I don't know. It just depends on how the market is going to respond to the weeklies on the S&P 500 and the Dow. I mean, and the NASDAQ, which are breaking out. The Dow is not giving me a lot of information here, so I don't have a lot to really go by. If I take a look at the hourly to try and understand what the market is doing on the hourly, then you start seeing some information because we've made a higher highs here in price recently. But you can see that if you take the top lines on the hourly, we are making lower lows on the technicals. And so this could turn out to be a resistance level on the hourly which could suggest that the market is due for a pullback. If we take a look at the Dow 30 minute chart just to see what that is telling us and you see that you know it's not giving us a lot of information here. We can say there was a declining RSI line here while the market was making higher highs. That seems evident. Higher highs and price and declining technical. So that is could explain why we came off those highs. And if you read my premium tweet, excuse me, if you read my Twitter post about three hours, four hours before the market closed, I thought that the market was trading here and would see a pullback and we got that pullback towards the close. What's going to happen at the beginning of the next month? Oh, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to stay tuned. The S&P 500 weekly, this is a very powerful breakout. As long as the S&P 500 holds above 1842.37, which is this previous weekly closing high, this market could move higher. So anything above 1842.37 is a breakout mode for the S&P 500. The daily for the S&P 500, you see that now we are making all-time highs in closing price. So all-time highs on the closing price. But you can see that the technicals are still making lower lows so this could be a reason why this market could see a, a significant top around here especially if it starts moving higher from current levels on the daily the level to watch is 1848.36 which is this daily closing high here which should have been the last day of 2013 so anything above 18 18.48 18.1848.36 on the daily is breakout mode anything back below that price level of 1848.36 is going to be confirmation that this is now negative divergence which could actually mean that the market has seen recent highs quick look at the hourly and just like the nasdaq and the dow we are making higher highs in price on the hourly but the technical picture has been making lower lows so that could be a reason and the setup for lower prices now if we take a look at dow transports here dow transports and you can see that like the dow the dow transport have yet to break out on the weekly if we take a look at the dow transport on a daily chart you'll see that it's trading at or close to the 50-day moving average so it's very hard to read what it wants to do but you can say it's healthy just because it's trading at the 50-day moving average if it holds above the 50-day that's good if it cracks back below the 50-day then you might start thinking that maybe this market is also gonna give us uh, some kind of movement to the downside now we'll take a look at the QQQ daily actually let's take a look at the QQQ or the NASDAQ 100, NASDAQ 100 daily, you can see we had a 4% move in February as we broke out on the monthly here. And this is a long-term monthly chart. 
So anything that keeps this market above 69.10 could suggest a steady to strong market. Anything above the market trading in this general area here on the monthly is just a sign of strength. But if we take a look at the daily for the triple Qs, just like most of the markets, we've been making higher highs in price here, higher highs in price, but the technical picture still remains making lower lows. I think that kind of a setup, especially with the market not convincingly above 61.8 on the daily RSI, could suggest that this is the kind of setup that sees markets pull back significantly. Now, if we take a look at the Russell 2000 daily, which is tied down to the QQQ, and you'll see that the same scenario here, if we take a look at this recent higher highs in price on the daily, take a look at this long-term daily chart, long-term daily RSI chart, and you can see that this has been making lower lows going back to the beginning of 2014. So I think if this stays the same, if the market starts pulling off these levels here, this to me seems like a major top in the market based on the daily. Now, of course, you have to be careful because if the market comes and breaks out, let's say we get a breakout above this declining RSI line, any breakout is actually going to give us the exact opposite, which is going to be a powerful breakout to the upside. Let's take a look at the airline index on the daily. And also you see that the airline index on a daily, I think I can give you a daily chart. Hold on a second here. On the daily for the airline, you take note of the fact that we made a higher daily closing high there. And yet we made a lower low on the technicals. And that is a good chart on the daily going back to September of 2012. Let's take a look at an eight month daily chart here for a closer look. And you can see on an eight month daily view, higher highs in price there. And the technicals did not move above 69.10, suggesting that this could be a major top if that continues being the way the market is going to be looking down the road. Now let's take a look at Apple. I always take a look at this one before I end the free session of the video. And you can see that we still remain beneath this channel here. So this has yet to break out. And I think the stock is trading in no man's land right now. Ever since we got this resistance here, it's pulled back, which would make sense. But now we have another channel here. So we are trading in this channel here. So honestly, I don't know which way this stock wants to go just based on the fact that it is trading in this range here. Also, you can see this on the daily because again on the daily seems to be some kind of resistance came here. Uniform action above the 50 back below it. So this was a sell signal, but you can see that now we are trading to me what seems like in a wedge. So one way or the other in the coming weeks, coming months, the stock is going to break out or break down outside this wedge type formation. So it's very hard to read where it's going to go day to day, week to week. So that concludes the abbreviated free part of this video. The rest of the video is going to be for subscribers. Eric Moade, talk to you guys on the free side. And as for subscribers, let's continue on.